Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I want to look ahead a little bit towards later on in this week, of course, as Footy's Batch 2 is ending and Batch 3 is coming, where we could have the most insane amount of special cards in packs that we have had yet inside of this Footy's promo. Of course, we're looking forward to cards like Summer Stars, Path to Glories, and still some of the top tier team of the seasons being in packs for batch three now it's coming on friday but i think we can do some preparation ahead of time now to even get ready for that as a lot of players are gonna go down in price a ton we've been this through two times already with batch one and batch two you've already started to see some of the prices drop but specifically on some of the syria cards that are inflated for the now what was guaranteed yesterday and confirmed yesterday the Serie A Weekend League Plus has kind of pushed some of those cards up a little bit more. I think there might be an opportunity to sell and then potentially buy them back later. But again, this was what we were expecting after the Serie A player pick on Monday. And this is what we got yesterday is the Weekend League Plus. We also had a re-release of an SBC that we got last Tuesday, which was the 86 plus player pick pack out for six days, non-repeatable. I'm going to be saving this for Friday along with the rest of my packs from swaps. Now also today is a sad day because the 85 plus times 10 is going to go away. I honestly do not see this SBC getting re-released today on Wednesday. Uh, last week they did, but of course now we're going to be entering a new phase and batch three is going to be in packs. So I don't expect them to have this SBC live throughout that. I'd be very surprised. I would love it if they did, but I feel like if you're doing any of these, which I've got, of course, one of the four squads completed. So I need to finish off the end of this. But if you're going to save any of the 85 plus times tens, which I think is a pretty good idea, this is kind of your last time to do it before the content today on Wednesday. So it was honestly a very quiet day of FIFA yesterday, which kind of makes sense, right? Because of course, with the FIFA 22 information, the huge uh, FIFA 22 reveal, I did a video on that earlier yesterday, if you want to take a look at that. And of course, there's a lot we could talk about with that, but we kind of talked about it in that video. So if you want to take a look, I'll put that video link in the description. A lot of confusing stuff. And I think what we're actually going to learn is that we're going to learn more about FIFA 22 on Friday with the pitch uh, where they, the, the top bins podcast or the top bin show that they do live on Fridays. That's one thing where I expect to learn a little bit more about FIFA 22 information. So be ready for that. And we'll probably talk about that later on as the week goes. But again, today on Wednesday and with batch three coming, I do want to speak about a few things, which obviously as some of you guys have already probably sold some of your cards that could be coming back into packs, but specifically some of these really top tier cards and some of the best cards that we have in the game, summer stars items are not really down that much, right? Sterling 730, that's down a little bit, but not a ton. Kane's still 270K. Gomez is 40, 245. He's down some. Lukaku is up. Chiesa, Chiellini, all of your Serie A cards, of course, are up. But for some of these cards, Jordi Alba, uh, even Neymar, right? A lot of this stuff is going to drop further again because it is getting re-released. The 99 Ronaldo, the 99 Messi, right? Messi's last Barcelona card, unless he gets an end of an era, SBC, um, you know, because it's transferred to PSG. And, you know, even a guy like Locatelli, Spinazzola, Laporte, Maldrich, these guys going back into packs is definitely going to make their prices drop a lot. A hundred percent. I would be looking to offload these cards pretty soon. I really would be looking to offload them pretty soon because you don't, you don't want to be stuck in, of course, what happened last week with these cards and the cards that got re-released into batch two, absolutely dumping in price after they were released, right? Messi, 1.1 mil down to 700K. Crazy drop-offs with those Toss cards when they were re-released. And yeah, Neymar's down some, right? That's our perfect example. Neymar's 3.25 mil at the moment, and he is down from like 3.6 on the weekend, but that's because this is one of the most hyped-up cards in the game, and people, of course, know that, hey, I'm going to sell this Neymar because I'm going to get him for cheaper later on, and they definitely are wanting to stay ahead of the game. But I think for the rest of the cards that are not down that much yet, there's still an opportunity to get out while some of this stuff is up. Path to Glories are some of the most rare cards in this game. These cards are so stinking rare. If you take a look on the market, like Firmino, I know he's more of a high tier player and those players are more rare anyways, but these guys do not have a lot of supply on this game. Two pages of a 99 rated card on this game. They're going to get flooded with supply on Friday when these guys are re-released. And again, these cards are ones that everybody likes to use because they're just, they, they're in the current meta. They're the best cards in the game. They're better than some of the Tots cards, right? And that's kind of 
Um, these are literally the best cards that are available in FIFA right now. So that's why I think there's going to be a lot of hype. And a lot of people are going to try to snag these cards on Friday when their prices drop a lot and uh, put them in their team. So again, I just think that I would take this opportunity if you are still in the money. Militao, very popular card as a center back, right? He's already down a little bit, but you probably want to take your cash. These guys are going to drop further today, tomorrow, and into Friday morning with some panic selling and stuff like that. I would 100% expect that. Now, maybe some of the cards are in a batch too. Let's talk about this for a second, right? This happened with batch one as well. Some of these team of the season cards, I wouldn't look to invest in them straight away. Maybe like a Rashford, maybe a Teo Hernandez, who you think, yeah, they're not supposed to be in packs for batch three. But like we saw between batch one and batch two, they kept some of the foot birthday and future stars items in packs for both the, fir the, both the first two batches. I think there are going to be TOTS cards included in batch three. So I would be very careful in investing in anything that is supposed to go out of packs um, unless it has a PTG or a Summer Stars version that will be in packs. And, and even then, uh, I, I wouldn't even buy like TOTS Neymar, to be completely honest. I would not buy TOTS Neymar um, because I think that with the drop on the 99 Neymar, I know there's a big price difference here, 1.44 million coins versus 3.25. But th if this Neymar drops another, you know, he could easily be in the, the low to mid 2 million coin range, depending on the supply, like 2.5 to 2.3 mil. Uh, I think that would affect this card on the market a little bit. I do. So that's kind of one thing I'd be, I'd be wary of. Same thing with like a Messi and a Ronaldo. I think that a 99 rate rated version of a Messi or Ronaldo coming out in this game would make some of the lower tier cards drop off. I think one of the things I'm the most interested in or like Acuna. How far does an Acuna drop? It's one of the biggest and best midfielders in this game. Same thing with a Vinicius who's been chilling around 2 million coins. Insane, insane card. Havertz is really, really rare right now. That's why he's 1.15 mil. That's definitely not his actual price. That's just a, a very overinflated, very rare card. Like, look at this Havertz, bro. There, what? There's only five Havertz on the market right now. Crazy. And he's 900K, which is even up. So these Path to Glory cards are just so stinking rare. It's going to be crazy on Friday with these price drops when they get supplied again. And it's kind of, it's going to be fun to watch, but it's only going to be fun if you have sold these cards and you don't have them tradable in your team any longer. So that's one place where I'd be looking to get out on the market uh, pretty soon. But I wanted to talk about that a lot today because I think that's going to save a lot of people some coins. And of course, um, we'll be expecting some big deals and some buys on Friday when batch three does come out. But that's that's the big part about Friday too, right? Is that there's going to be so much pack supply. And we'll talk about this as we go later on into the week this week. But with the swaps packs, I know these are untradeable, but so many people are going to have these and open these up. There's going to be so many clubs full of SBC fodder and packing untradeable versions of these summer stars and path to glory players on Friday. It's going to be pack central and supply central with all of this stuff um, that's going to be in packs with the 85 times tens that people are going to be saving with the swaps packs, 82 plus player picks that you can save 86 plus player picks. You can save there's more packs and higher tier packs than ever to save for this weekend alongside of preview packs. So that's just kind of what I wanted to prep you guys about today. And because I know it's coming, some of you guys have already prepared your ahead of the game, but other people may have not. So I wanted to take this time to do that and talk about those cards getting re-released. Now let's talk about content today on Wednesday because Wednesday last week and two weeks ago as well were pretty big content days. Last week on Wednesday was, of course, the uh, Sané versus um, Silas vote. Um, the vote that we thought Silas was going to win. Not really. We kind of knew Sané was going to win. Sané is expiring today, of course. And the winner of the Quadrado and Pedro vote will be announced today, which of course we are expecting to be Quadrado. So we are expecting a Quadrado SBC today and uh, hopefully five-star skills. Hopefully they upgrade that weak foot a little bit too and make him an absolutely cracked out card. That'd be a perfect right back for Serie A squads this weekend. And another vote should be coming out today. Last week, of course, we had the infamous Holland versus uh, Vardy uh, voting that did not end up happening because EA canceled the SBC. So hopefully today, I don't know what league or if they're going to stick with the Serie A. Could be very interesting to see today what they do in terms of a vote. We should see another vote today for the SBC that would drop on Friday. So I would be watching out for that as a piece of content to expect today. And if they're going to do trade upgrades, just don't cancel the SBC. But it would be kind of comical if they promise more trade upgrades for Friday 
with this next SBC. Um, hopefully it's like a skill move or a weak foot upgrade. There's plenty of Syria cards that they could boost up. So tons of potential still there for the voting today. And then honestly, we could see an objective today. Last Wednesday was a big objective day with the Akanji dropping. Now I will say one thing. We had the dynamic duo for, um, for Moynier and Vitzel. I really hope that another dynamic duo drops today or another Serie A objective, but specifically the dynamic duo, because if they're going to do another objective for cards that they want people to maybe, or allow people to maybe use in the weekend league, since it's Serie A specific, I want them to drop that dynamic duo earlier. They need to drop it earlier because this being dropped on Friday was like, okay, if I want to use Vitzel and Moynier with my Bundesliga Weekend League team, now I have to go out and play nine or eight different squad battles matches, or sorry, foot friendly matches to get these cards, then go play the Weekend League. And I don't know if a lot of people really wanted to grind that in August, right? In almost the end of this game. So hopefully they drop a dynamic duo today, which makes and gives us time to grind some objectives and maybe even through squad battles, we can get some icon swaps and the objective card done at the same time. Of course, as a lot of people are grinding swaps at the moment to get those fodder packs for Friday. So that's kind of one thing that I would mention is something we could see today is an objective player alongside with those, uh, the vote, the winner SBC. I'm not sure about upgrade packs. Maybe they'll drop some sort of like non-repeatable one time, kind of like the 86 plus. I'm really not expecting the 85 times 10 again, just because I don't think EA would want to put that out when a new batch is being released. Although I would love to be wrong and EA, I would love to see that pack released. Also last week on Wednesday, they dropped a ton of preview packs. They dropped the 88 plus star rare mega preview pack last week, along with like a 45K and a 25K. Uh, the 45K goes away tomorrow. The 25K is going to be re-upped again, but watch out for some more preview packs applied today on Wednesday, because that has been a common theme on Wednesdays as well. That is one thing I would watch out for. That's going to mean supply for batch two cards, supply for fodder, and most importantly, supply for the rare golds that are on this market. Because again, with that 80 six plus upgrade SBC that only requires non rares and rares. You just saw the rare card market go crazy again today. Those cards went from like 2000 coins. They're up to 4k at one point. Uh, how much are non rares at the moment? Non rares are still pretty cheap and that's pretty normal. They don't, you know, go up too much when these things drop about 500 coins. It looks like for non rares. So that is still grindable. If you're trying to grind the 85 times 10 last second, but the rares went up so high, man. And I think it's just because that 86 plus SBC, people love that. And just the fact that it was so easy with a rare gold squad and a non-rare gold squad, just like last Wednesday, we saw that portion of the market absolutely fly. Now, again, fodder, on if you look across the entire game, fodder is incredibly cheap, except for the 83s and under. Even 83s are kind of cheap. 83s are almost the same price as 82s and 81s. Or almost the same price. Like it's all rare cards with like 3,000 coins um, minimum at the moment, which is crazy. And then you have 84s at 5K, 85s at 7. Even them releasing a Pele Icon Moments SBC did not make 90 rated cards budge. There's still 17, 18,000 coins, which is crazy to see how high rated fodder has gotten so cheap on this game because all the SBCs that they're releasing are requiring low rated squads, which is easy, but it's now making those low rated cards go crazy, crazy high in value. So Thursday, Wednesday content, sorry, not Thursday, Wednesday content today should be a really good one. I'm excited for the new SBC uh, and hopefully Quadrato is good value because that would be a great card that would tie together a lot of squads with Bonucci, Chiellini, Chiesa, so many links with the Piemonte Calcio links, Juventus links that Quadrato has and the five-star skills being a meta right back in this game. Could be a nice day of content today on Wednesday. So good luck if you're still grinding icon swaps like I am. I know a lot of us are still trying to get those packs or maybe the icon packs done as soon as possible before the next swaps come out and before the weekend league and all that kind of stuff. So good luck if you're grinding that and hopefully we get some good content today on Wednesday. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.